something that you expect to see when you're overseas, maybe in, in England or Ireland or other parts of Europe. Yeah, usually that's the case, but we found one right here in this region. Paul Hennessy takes us to this Northland treasure. There's absolutely nothing conventional about this lake. It has no name. And on its shores is not a home, but a castle. Tim Robertson took us on a tour of his very own prized palace. They had a swinging bridge on uh, the old northeastern where everybody goes hunting down here. And uh, I just copied that, basically. And then I've seen one at Disney World. It took Robertson two months of piling blocks before the concept of a castle came to mind. And I'm all about up to here, and my wife come walking over the hill and said, my gosh, he's building a castle. And he kept building and building, and eight years, 80,000 cement blocks later, the medieval mansion stands majestically on the lake with no name. Most of my brothers call it a monument to somebody that has too much time on their hands. Tim set each and every block by hand. Carry the blocks up one at a time. Sometimes two if you're real ambitious. When you climb the stairs of the 30-foot tower, you realize how high it really is. It's plenty high, too high to jump, to parachute. And what would a modern-day castle be without a garage fit for a king and his Corvette? Well, I, actually, that's why I built the castle. I needed a place to park my Corvette that would look good. As we're leaving the castle... Hang on. I think the tour is over, but I'm wrong. And if a castle's not enough for a king, how about an 18-hole golf course? Hey, Paul, let's hit a couple <laughs> golf balls. My kids wouldn't work on the, gas, on the castle anymore. They said, no more castles. So I said, well, we can do a golf course then. It's almost a goner, but the frozen lake saved this one. Well, you can either sit home and watch football or build something like this. And to think, something like this castle like this golf course, like this lake, used to be a giant gravel pit. From rubble to royalty. In Twig, I'm Paula Hennessy for News Channel 3. Robertson is actually planning to build a home connected to the castle. He says the materials didn't cost very much because he used cement blocks that had been thrown out. Now Paula's winter rules for golf seem to help her out a lot, but coming up we are going to hear